was just a dream, just a moment ago. I was up so high, looking down at the sky, don't let me fall. I was shooting for stars on a Saturday night. They say what goes up must come down, but don't let me fall. Two on two break, the shuttle ahead to Kaida and he'll score. Here's Kaida, knows how to finish. The German opens his career at Gonzaga with a three ball. Cause I'm glad enough that oh so very high that if the clouds were to drop me, then I'd fall out the sky. I don't really know why I'm here. I guess I'm just here for the ride. I swear it feels like I'm dreaming. It's vividly defined. Yeah. Oh! And Stockton blocked Carter Foster and threw it from behind. Stockton to finish. Now Stockton at the buzzer. All the way in, Dimitri Goodson takes it coast to coast for the bucket. Now Goodson again, pushing it hard, right? Oh, oh, oh. Finger roll! Goodson to four. What a show by Dimitri Goodson. Three-pointer, yes. Marquise Carter beginning to heat up now. Boy, oh, that's huge. is not over. We have a unique group this year, most definitely. We have two Germans, a French kid. We have Marquise Carter, who's famous in SoCal. Come on, like, I don't even know how to, where to start. And then we have Stephen Gray, who looks like Bob Marley. Short hair Steve was Stuart at the time. Did I know Short hair Steve? Yeah, I guess I did. And now Stuart combined with Steven, and that's long haired Steve. I think I've done a lot of growing up in my four years. Uh, started, you know, clean shaven, short hair. The way he walks, the way he, the way he does everything matches his personality. Like he doesn't do anything that's hiding who he is. I don't know if you've you can ever, you'll ever find a, a swag like that. Just cool, relax. Secondhand Steve. Yeah. That's his style. I don't know where he shop. A lot of people say Value Village. Steve's style is like one of the weirdest styles I've ever seen in my whole 20 years of living. Steve likes comfort over fashion. He'll just like grab random dress clothes out of his, like, out of his drawer in the locker room and just wear it and just don't care how he look. Steve will wear stuff that other people have worn before <laughs> just because it's been worked in. His style is the epitome of long hair, don't care. I mean, I really didn't know too much. I just thought he was a normal guy until a couple of days down after that. We, uh, I figured that, that he wasn't normal like us different kind of guy. Steven thought I didn't like him his freshman year because apparently after his surgery on his wrist I made him get up right away and leave the hospital and I didn't make him cookies which and I didn't know at the time that that was the indicator of whether or not I liked anybody 
but apparently I didn't, and so he didn't think I liked him. So I did try to make up for it. I baked him his favorite cookies, and, and hopefully we're leaving on good terms now. Look at the dude. He has tattoos of Edward Scissorhands, and it is what it is tattooed all over him, and he has dreadlocks. He's, he's completely 180 compared to what he came in. That's gonna, yeah, they're a couple, and it's gonna be the biggest breakup ever when Steve leaves. That's for sure. A lot of tears, and I'm not sure if Rock can survive with Steve. They've been together ever since when they first got here. I mean, they came on their visit together, they, they lived in this met together, and then they, they lived off campus together. He gets all hurt when I say we were roommates sophomore year because. I had a girlfriend and I didn't give him enough time and God forbid I don't have enough time for Stever. So he said sophomore year we weren't we weren't roommates at that time. You know, Rob's uh, from a different pl planet just like Steve. Rob and Steve are like the yin and the yang. We are like yin and yang and we are complete opposites but we work together. Rob is like one of the loudest guys ever alive and like Steve is like real quiet to himself God calm and collective I mean like when they come together they're like amazing but I think if they if they separate there might be some problems <laughs> when you hear them talk sometimes just like girls you know girls have got their own language kind of like Aaliyah said in the play and are we girls or something because we, like, we'll finish each other's sentences they know like useful sentences they do like Steve you remember that one time at yeah you know oh yeah you mean that one time? Yeah. You remember that thing? Yeah, okay, that thing. Okay, yeah, well, he doesn't know. It's like, oh, come on, please, guys. It's just a weird, it's, it's weird. They make a perfect little, you know, couple together. It's been a great four years. Um, I mean, it's been just about every day, uh, you know, with that guy. And, and, you know, I wouldn't, you know, want to do it with anyone else. I mean, he's, you know, my best friend. Thank you for being. I'm just gonna miss my best friend. Like, he's basically my brother, but he can be replaced. I have no problem with that. I'll just get a new dog or something and call it Steve. What will Steve be doing in 10 years? We had this conversation last night, actually. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I really, huh? He's gonna own some weird drama club in, in Seattle. I think that he's gonna probably be in Africa, living very cheaply somewhere. Well, if he's not in the league, he'll be like on some island somewhere with a nice little house. He'll be wearing no <laughs> shoes. Yeah, no shoes, maybe no shirt. Yeah, yeah. debatably some a shirt. Like, It'll be pants that yeah, are cut pants off. Pants that are cut off. <laughs> <laughs> cut off. The, set, the Birkensteins, the Birkensteins <laughs> on his feet. <laughs> and the dreads will be longer. He'll probably the dreads will be really tail. long. He'll debatably have a bass or a guitar yeah. that he just plucks <laughs> yeah, at. That, yeah. 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 For some reason, he'll be super successful, but we won't know how he is successful because he doesn't do anything during the day or night. So he's just going to be like, yeah, that's my job. Oh, well. He's just so, so random. But then he goes on the basketball court, and he's just a, such a great player. So it's so weird. Look at his success since he's been here. He's had success. Um, ever since his freshman year. Two huge free throws. Yeah, by a the freshman, Stephen Gray. Yeah, he got the roll! This had to be the most exciting game you've ever been in. Drew? It's up there. He might not look it, but once he gets on the court, it's... Once the ball's up in the air, it's, it's game time for Steve. Steve's always been a great player, great leader, great friend. He takes the team on his shoulders when he needs to, when the team needs a lift. A great leader. So I think that's something we can all take away from him when he leaves. We look up to him, we see what he does, and we see, we've seen his career, and we know those numbers, and what he's put up and what he's given to this program. How hard he played on the court, um, his leadership, and just his whole uh, demeanor, how he went about 
games and practices. And I've gotten to know some great people, got to play with some great, you know, players, um, been a part of some good teams and um, done things in college that I never, you know, would have dreamt that I would would have been able to do from theater to going to Africa. So it's been it's been a blast. And I think maybe to show some of our other student athletes that you can do other things instead of just your sport and still be successful at that. I think that's a neat thing for him to leave behind. He'll come into the office and we'll just talk for 45 minutes and it could be about life, about something you know he's doing on the weekend, it could be about something he's learning in class and you know, kind of challenges maybe something that I believe and we'll go back and forth and debate a little bit and I, I just think he's a good soul, a good person and I'll, I'll miss that for sure. I think he leaves just a, a model of what a Gonzaga basketball player should be, just tough on the court, you know, a good person off the court. I'm gonna miss coming to practice every day with Steve. He's a he's just he's a fun guy to be around, a nice guy to be around. Bye Steve. I hope people remember me as, you know, being a decent guy, you know, someone that they could talk to, you know, just someone that you know, had you know, a lot of interests, um, and whatever that interest may be, he, you know, put in, you know, effort, and, and he left, you know, whatever he had to give out there. Mm -hmm.